Hello YouTubers, today I have another TV that I just recently received. Now, this is actually a Zenith rear projection TV. The model is PV4663RK, which this TV was made in 1995. Now, my grandma purchased this TV brand new at Sears back in 1995, when it was new, obviously. But this is a nice set, it really is, and it's been, it's been within the family for ever since it's brand new, really. Now, it does not have the original remote control, but it's still got a Zenith remote, but it's a reprogrammable remote. Got your buttons on the top. Nice set, I've always dreamed as a child of having this set, and what do you know, now, now this is my set. Yeah, my grandma asked me, do you want this TV? Because I, I don't want it no more. Just take it if you want it, so. And I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll take it. There it is sitting here. Now, I actually, I'm going to turn this on and show you guys that it works. It works perfectly. However, it's got a convergent, a convergent issue here going on, which requires me to replace the the convergent the convergence amplifier ICs there is three of them in the set and they're actually the IC number or the IC type is STK391-020 I bought three brand new Mitsubishi replacements because this set requires three for each CRT and they got a red green and a blue but you'll see as I turn it on. I got a little test video going through it. Through a DVD app playing in the other room. Oh, it's fine right up. Just, it there we go. Just I got a nice volume bar. But I think it's okay. You might be able to notice, but as a set warms up, you like get see all these color separations? Yeah, see how there's three? That's because the ICs are bad. They're going bad. Which is unfortunate, but it only cost me eight dollars to buy these parts. I will actually repair this and try to make a video on me repairing this because this is a nice set. It really is. It there's nothing else wrong with it but that. And yes, there is a little bit of there is a there is a magic a magic fix kind of option on this set to obviously have me align the colors together but or we got we have a case where the red kind of goes at an angle like this and the blue kind of goes like that as you can see it's perfect in the middle of the screen but you can kind of see that look at all of that that's all due to the ICs going bad you can notice there's kind of more but you get what I'm telling you here we're gonna I'm gonna fix this it's got some nice speakers in here. I actually took it apart a little bit today and cleaned it out, all the dust. Because it was dusty, it really was. I want to make sure my electronics perform proper, efficiently, you know what I mean? Got these fancy little inputs and whatnot. Yeah, have antenna, antenna one and antenna two. Just kind of a common thing with these sets. And then you got a loop out. You get your standard video, RCA video in one. You have a loop out. Obviously that loops this back out to connect to probably like a VCR or something. You get video in two. And then you get your S video in. Which is kind of nice. I use S video by the way. I still use I use that around here. You have your audio output. Audio output if you want to hook it to your hi-fi set. This is the main the main monitor out so you could probably connect it to like another set and then you get your this uh, this tv actually can let you connect external speakers there's a little switch here which obviously it's on internal speakers but then it, you can actually flip it to external speakers there's some more information here made in 1995 it's a nice set it really is Kind of like the wood side. Get this particle board, unfortunately. If it was real wood, well, that would be awesome. But it simulates it. It's just all that matters. It's in great shape. 
Now that the set's warmed up, look at that. That is a perfect, oh, it just turned pink, but there's a lot of color, color, so color balance issue. See, blue's going down, red's kind of going down like that. That's caused by the ICs. Now, I actually have some old pictures here with the set in there at my grandma's house. Here's a set right now in 2019. There's a perfect picture of it back in the day. Which I'll put in the editor. Yep, that's that exact set. Here today. It needs a little bit of work, but I'll get it going because after all, I am Mr. Mercury Fix It, and we can fix things around here and bring this ancient piece of equipment back to life. And I give things a second chance. I even give that old Isenia TV there a second chance. Which, by the way, I got from my school. It's got scratches, but it survived. I don't really care, but it's my set. Love CRT TVs. I like stuff like this. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this nostalgic video here of the Zenith front rear projection TV set that still works but needs a little bit of fixer uppers. Probably the next time I make a video, it'll either be the intercom system, which I really need to do for you guys, for those of you that watch the videos on that, or me repairing this set because I need to repair these ICs. They need to all go. Because I love to fix this thing and get it going. Maybe I might, I'm going to have to jam this thing in my room somewhere. Because I like this set. But stay tuned for more videos. And subscribe to my channel. And you all have a nice day.